thank you, Gabriele, for the question. We received the letter uh, from the new Polish Minister of European Affairs asking to uh, discontinue calls for payment. Um, we have received a similar letter uh, already on 15th June. Back then, we assessed that while we have seen uh, progress on certain specific issues, not all obligations stemming from the order of 14th of July 2021 uh, have been fully addressed in the new law on the Supreme Court. We will, of course, carefully analyze the second letter to see if there were any new developments. As you know, the Commission is under the obligation to continue its calls for penalty payments ordered by the Court of Justice until Poland fully complies with the order of the Court. Until this is done, Poland will continue to pay the fines imposed by the Court. Um, and on your concrete questions, you know that we uh, do not confirm um, amounts usually, but um, what I can say, if, if I find it now, is how many um, calls, so basically the, the calls for payment um, that, that have been uh, issued that I, that I can remind you of. So the first call for payment um, was covering the period from 3 November 2021 uh, to Jan 10 January 2022. Uh, the latest, and then there were more or less monthly calls for payment uh, since then, so since 3 November 2021 until uh, today. The last uh, call that I have noted here is um, from uh, the period of uh, until 27th of July. So, uh, but you know, I mean, you can, you can do the math yourself, it's a daily penalty payment. Uh, which we have started uh, as requested by the court um, to ask for from uh, 3rd of November 2021. Yes. Uh, so to clarify on the date, the, 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 the first letter was on 15th of June and we replied to it uh, in July, if my memory serves me well. And as we are on dates, let me just clarify um, what I just said on the, on the calls for payments. It was overall 10 calls for payments and the latest uh, was sent on the 28th of, of October. So now you have really the, uh, the latest uh, information. Um, okay, and on your question um, of the address, well, I think this is, uh, I'm not going to go here now into, into procedural rules of the European Court of Justice. I mean, what is clear is that the European Court of Justice uh, imposed uh, an, an interim measure. Um, and until this interim measure is, 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 is changed uh, or, or, or ended by the European Court of Justice, uh, this order stands and has to be implemented by the Commission. I think that's, that's as much as I can say, and, and otherwise I would uh, now not go into explaining uh, procedural rules of, of the Court of Justice. I would, I would ask you to, to uh, ask the Court of Justice about that. Indeed. Let's remember, these are interim measures imposed by the Court of Justice, so it's the Court of Justice that has to be convinced that its interim measures have been fulfilled. 